Hey, what's up guys? It's Jonathan with Rev Free Moto and today it is about 100 degrees. So I'm out here still riding. Uh, it's my first day on the Harley uh, since I got back from uh, my vacation and renting that uh, Triumph and everything. I've been working pretty much ever since I got back. Um, and so I'm thankful to be out uh, on the Harley Davidson uh, Fat Boy 114 today. Um, my, uh, my camera is mounted to my helmet currently uh, so I'm gonna see what I can do to kind of uh, show you guys uh, the latest uh, installation to the fat boy and that is this sundowner seat so the sundowner seat was an addition that I did uh, because on longer rides the stock seat was uh, getting to be a little bit uh, of a pain um, I think that this has a whole lot more let's say cush to it it's definitely a thicker seat and quite honestly it's taken some getting used to so far I also I may have done it wrong uh, someone is telling me that that has a sundowner seat that it, that uh, they feel maybe I uh, did it incorrectly when I installed it uh, because they're saying that it should fit with the passenger the stock passenger seat but i was unable to get them both to fit um i couldn't get this specifically this rear screw to to line up and so yeah um i, I don't know i don't know if it's going to stay on the bike or not um because i'm definitely sitting up a lot higher but uh, we'll get into some of the first impressions of the seat as i ride it um but I, I just want to say thanks so much for, for joining me today. Thanks for subscribing to Red Free Moto. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, let's get into this video. All right, so we are just outside of Charlottesville, Virginia. And again, it is right outside uh, Grit Coffee. Just had coffee with a good pastor friend of mine who also rides see pastors can be cool too unfortunately this pastor rides an Indian so I'm still working on him I'm just kidding I, I had an Indian for many years and I love those bikes too he's got an Indian scout and uh, I think it's a, it's a, so cool that he rides I actually know two pastors that ride But yeah, thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate you watching. Um, this sundowner seat that I just put on a couple days ago, it's the first time out riding on it. And I tell you, my very first impression of this sundowner seat is that, man, lots of traffic today. I'm afraid my tires are gonna melt into the pavement, it's so hot. Like, that's kind of a joke, but it's kind of not a joke. Um, but the Sundowner one, uh, the sundowner seat, um, you know, I'm still not in love with the looks of it. I feel like uh, I'm so used to the stock seat, and the stock seat is such a, like, a clean, low-profile look that uh, it's really hard to beat. And... Uh, This, uh, the sundowner seat is like, I don't know, it's, I feel like it looks like an old man seat a little bit. And, and so that's really the only reason so far that I'm not totally in love with it. Um, as I said earlier, I, I either did it, the install incorrectly or Harley has lied to me and, or maybe I just got a seat that's manufactured uh, incorrectly I don't know but I could not get that passenger seat to fit so I'm gonna try that again when it's not 150 degrees uh, and see if I can get the passenger seat to fit but uh, that was definitely another reason that I was like come on man like you pay a couple hundred bucks or, and then some for a seat and it's not even working quite as advertised 
uh, but it's definitely wider. Um, I feel like I'm sitting on more of a flat surface than a like a saddle shape. You know, the uh, the old stock seat um, really has the curve in it, and so you can really sit down in it. And there's there's actually that's not a bad thing because uh, when you take off on this bike, and if you've got a 114, a Harley 114 motor. You know what I'm talking about. If you twist the throttle, I mean, like it's gonna go. And and uh, having that stock seat that kind of kind of locked me in place a little bit better, kind of held me in place. Now I really gotta hold on to the handlebars when I take off because I feel like I'm gonna fall off, fall off the back of the bike. Um, that would not be good. So. I feel like this is more of a flat seat, almost like a uh, Springer seat, if you will. And I know it doesn't feel like a Springer seat, but uh, I'm talking about the the width, you know, of the seat and the lack of a uh, significant curve that I'll call it a saddle curve that that'll hold me in place. So I also noticed that. I'm sitting up a little bit higher, it, but I think that's something that I'll get used to pretty quickly. Like when I first got on the bike, it was it was weird because I think it was weird for two reasons. One is the the new the saddle, um, the sundowner seat, but then uh, it's also my first time on the Harley after being on the Triumph for about a week. Uh, which is obviously a very different riding experience. I will say, I'll, I'm not going to be hasty and I'm going to continue to ride with this seat and give it a fair chance before I switch back to the stock seat. I may fall in love with it, I don't know. Don't want to be too hasty. Um, I will say that these, um, the Indy Ridge, uh, wingman collection boots uh, I think I've got the ones called the walker uh, they uh, oh my gosh the ventil they're ventilated on the side and on the tongue and uh, get to a kind of a straight spot with no traffic I can kind of pan the camera down at them so you can see these vent holes uh, on the boot and they make so much difference riding in the hot weather like it is night and day uh, my feet feel so cool riding down the road with these ventilated boots um, I wish I had discovered these boots a long time ago or the vent the ventilated boots because if you think about it the riding season for a lot of us uh, is the warmer months right and if you're hardcore and you're riding through the winter then that's awesome I try to ride whenever I can if I can handle it I gotta put heated grips on this bike because uh, I do like riding down to at least about 40 degrees, uh, 40, 45 degrees with the grips and a good leather jacket. That's a nice day right there. But man, it's 100 degrees out today um, with the heat index. I don't even, I don't even want to guess at that. But it is very hot here in Virginia uh, in middle of July. And my feet are the coolest part of my body right now, I feel like. They feel great. So this is not like an, a commercial for Indy Ridge, but uh, if you haven't checked them out, IndyRidgeUSA.com, I believe is their website. And uh, they're just really good. Really good boots. I've been pretty impressed with them. Uh, especially these ventilated ones for the, uh, for the cooler, I'm sorry, the hotter weather. Definitely cool my feet. Now the only disadvantage to that is if for some reason I get caught in a downpour, these are not waterproof because they're full of holes. Uh, so that's an obvious thing, but um, it's something you got to consider, you know. I really don't care about waterproof um, for as little as I ride in the rain. If you were long term touring on a hot day, um, you know, and you knew it was going to be raining all day, yeah, that's something to consider. but. You could also put covers on your boots. A good pair of rain pants and, and boot covers. Um, I also wanted to, so today is the 15th of July. It's been 
Uh, it's the Monday after this attempted assassination of our of uh, former President Trump, and um, I just wanted to uh, encourage uh, everyone who's watching. Like, I feel like this is. Uh, I'm so thankful that that uh, you know Trump fan or not. I'm I'm so thankful that um, that he wasn't killed and that it wasn't even more of a tragic day but it really was a tragic day because we lost you know the uh, uh, former fire chief you know uh, as some of you may know uh, I'm a police officer and so you know my brothers in in red as we say we're we're the blue and they're the red you know um, they uh, we work with our firefighter brothers and sisters every day and they're amazing people um, and they go through a lot of hard stuff too and it just breaks my heart uh, that uh, such a um, that he was killed, and, and uh, the firefighter, and then also the other gentleman was killed. Um, it's just so heartbreaking. Like, and it makes you just think, like, what has this, what has America come to? I mean, I know that um, this is not the first time this has ever happened. Um, you know, with uh, uh, I think the last. Uh, assassination attempt on a United, on a U.S. president, former or or current, uh, was 1981, maybe. Uh, I, I'm not sure of the exact year, but I know it was the early 80s with uh, President Reagan. And uh, you know, there's so it's not a totally uh, unheard of thing, but it's just uh, it's sad. You know, it it, it makes you feel. Uh, like we can do so much better in this country and we have so much mental illness in this country uh, and uh, so much hate like that's I really think that the big thing that drives it is uh, how polarized we are against one another and you know it's at all levels all all people um, hatred is something very powerful and uh, and it destroys. It destroys in so many ways. It takes lives. It destroys families. It destroys joy uh, and happiness and uh, hatred and anger. So, um, you know, it, this is a time that we really need to reflect as a country. You know, as I'm 44 years old, you know, I'm, I'm no young spring chicken, but I'm not old, a salty, super salty old person just yet. And I just feel like. Um, we have got to do better as a country. We've got to love one another. You know, that is the, the greatest uh, commandment we have is to love one another. And we suck at it a lot of times. Um, you know, I think we're all guilty of it, myself included. Uh, just spewing um, uh, volatile words of hatred. Uh, that and if someone is uh, impressionable and suffering with mental illness and then has access to a firearm then you're just um, you know words of hate uh, do nothing but destroy um, so I would just encourage you uh, to whether you are you know believe in God or um, believe in whatever you believe in um, religious or not um, that you would pray for our country um, and uh, that's good timing <laughs> with the American flag right there you know that our country needs prayer our country needs good leaders our country needs help um, and like the only answer is to look within to take a hard look at ourselves and say how can we get better how can we um, make this country amazing and great for our children because uh, they're the ones that are gonna have to to live with it it's hard enough living with it now like uh, you know sometimes as much as I love this country you, you just want to run away from it sometimes it's like you know can we can we move to uh, Ireland or something like there's like no violence there and you know I'm sure they've got their problems there's you know Northern Ireland and everything uh, there's there's violence everywhere but um, 
you know, it's it's easy to, to say, like, the grass is greener somewhere else and want to run away, but ultimately that's not going to help anything, and that's that's not fighting for what this country should be. So, you know, I'd love to hear um, what your thoughts are on it, but uh, sorry if I got on a soapbox or anything like that. I mean, I think that uh, it's a sad time for our country, and this is a time where we have to grow. And if we don't grow, then things are only gonna continue to get worse. And uh, I think we have to own it. I think we have to not point the fingers at each other, but look in the mirror at ourselves and and reflect on how, how we can make this country better and uh, how we can love one another. But uh, that's all for today, guys. Still breaking in this uh, this um, sundowner seat on this Fat Boy 114. I'll let you know as I continue to ride it my uh, long-term impressions. But uh, just wanted to say appreciate you. God bless. Love you all. And uh, just remember that uh, it's who you're becoming that matters most. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. That's going to do it for today's video. Just wanted to say uh, please remember to pray for our country and thanks so much um, for subscribing and for liking this video too. I really appreciate it. God bless you all. Love you all and we'll see you in the next video.